friends, it's Amanda. Thanks so much for being here and watching. Super excited to be joining you as part of the Pink Fresh Studio ink pad release blog hop happening today. Like all good blog hops, there's some amazing prizes happening. I'll pop the links in the description box below in how you can find out all those amazing details and hopefully win yourself some of these gorgeous inks. And straight onto my project now, the gorgeous embroidered blossom stamp. As you can see, it's quite well loved from me. Um, but I've gone and picked out a whole bunch of leaves and this lovely color, Clementine. And wait till you see, oh, you're just gonna be amazed. It already looks, I mean, you can see already the, the intensity of the color, but the quality of these premium dye inks is just mind blowing. I have not been this excited about stamping in such a long time. The quality is just, yeah, mind blowing. I'm really, really impressed. So on they go. Wait till you see. Come on, hurry up, lift. I want to share. These are so good. Wow. This color is phenomenal. And all the colors are like this. They're just absolutely stunning. So repeating with the same stamps. This is very licious. Yeah, lovely. And dough. There's so many gorgeous colors. I'm, I'm so excited. So I'm using all the autumnal colors and popping in a little hint of green. So this one's fresh pear. And I'm going to pop that one on as well. Look at that. Just cleaning up my stamps as well because they do, because they are a premium dye ink, the dye is quite um, strong. So it's always important to keep your stamps nice and clean. And um, this one's grassy knoll and just an extra highlight of green. And look at the difference. Ah, oh, gorgeous pops of color using our fabulous stamps and these amazing new inks, divine. And I'm going to coordinate them with this fabulous new cut file, Heart and Floral, from the Pink Fresh Studio store because, oh, look at that. What a beautiful cut file to have with all those beautiful embroidered blossoms leaves. And I just love how pretty that looks. So I decide to yeah get out that ink again that's the fresh pear and unfortunately I, I didn't have any blending tools on me so I've, I've been a little bit naughty and I've just gone straight on with the ink on some watercolor paper um, and I do use watercolor paper because I don't want it to bleed through because these are such a highly pigmented dye that it could quite easily um, leach through um, some cheaper paper so it's nice to have a good quality paper for this and of course we are going to glue it to the back of the cut file and I don't want um, yeah, any color CPG either. So yeah, as I said, probably would have been a little less wasteful if you'd used a blending tool for that. But yeah, sometimes we have to do these things. Um, so I'm just going to back the cut file with the beautiful fresh pear color. And wait till you see, this is just gorgeous and such a lovely way to incorporate more of those beautiful inks into your layouts. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Lovely, and I'm so impressed with it that even though I hadn't planned to do the flowers, I now decide to back those blooms as well. And I'm going to use this beautiful color, the Regal Kiss. And oh my heart, Regal indeed. Wait till you see this color. Oh, stunning. I'm not even a huge purple fan, but this has my heart. Absolutely gorgeous. So you can see already, oh, look. These inks are making my creating so easy, so beautiful, and just oh, elegant beyond words. So stamping doesn't always have to be messy mixed media. It can be very controlled and very, very beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And now time to actually do some scrapbooking here in memory keeping. Here's my gorgeous photo, which I framed with the inverted stitch scallop circles die from the Essentials Pink Fresh range. And I just love that little frame in the white. It's very, very pretty. And underneath that frame, I'm adding lots of those green, green printed leaves because I think they just sort of draw a bit of attention that way to my photograph again. And then I had this idea that <laughs> even though I'd arranged all those leaves, <laughs> that I would in fact back the cut file with some vellum. I felt it just needed that little extra, just a little lift and... Um, yeah, look, it was a fiddly layout to make, but it's worth all the effort when you see how gorgeous it turns out. So on I set that and I'll just sort of arrange them in the same space so I remember where they go. 
and um, yeah going to back that cut file with some vellum it just needed that little extra something and the vellum look soft but so pretty and it really does make the difference so I'm glad I did do it and of course that means I now have to rearrange all these leaves again but um, I'll cut this footage out for you so you don't have to live that pain again with me and um, oh look they're all stuck down and they look lovely and if you look carefully they're not completely stuck down I tend to stick the base of the leaves and then have a little lift because I think soft dimension and texture in such a pretty clean layer is really important you do need that element of texture in design so yeah so all those leaves having a little lift tucking in a title now this is a die cut from the ephemera pack in the just a little lovely collection and you'll see of course all the colors now in the pink fresh studio collections you'll start to recognize them in these ink pad colors so everything's going to coordinate just perfectly with all your pink fresh studio scrapbook supplies some fray stickers again everything i'm using is from the just a little lovely collection in the scrapbook supplies today that one was a little large i love the sentiment but it was too big for my layout so just snipping it down to size having a little play and think where I'd like to pop it and there wasn't quite right yeah that's better look at that adjacent from my photograph and it again it has that hint of clementine to it doesn't it everything's looking so pretty I told you I'm really excited about these inks <laughs> gorgeous so on they go and look see everything coordinates you're going to see Yes, the regal kiss in the enamel dots, but I decided I wanted just a little more journaling on my page. So I'm just going through and looking for some sentiments that tie in with my photo and story. Just in and in those colours that I'm keeping with, because there are some cooler pinks there as well, and I want those rich, warmer tones. Look at that. Such a beautiful full page. Really, really pretty. And I go decisions decisions I'm always so fussy in particular aren't I <laughs> and in they are but I think it's important particularly with clean white base layouts that everything is in its place and I like them to be orderly and very visually um, cohesive and, and easy to look at soft on the eye and as I said, those enamel dots in the regal kiss colour are oh, the perfect pop of purple to the page. Absolutely gorgeous. I do love that colour. Really, really pretty. And no blue for me today. I, I thought the first colour I would use in the ink pads would be sapphire because that is my favourite colour in all the liquid watercolours. But I think with being fall and seasonal, these colours were just, they were calling to me. I had the perfect photo for the moment and it just yeah just beautiful so I've now got the just a little lovely mini alphabet stickers here and I'm just going to pop in a title for my layout as well so just curving them around the top of that heart and my title is going to say full favorite moments and I'll just jump ahead on that I'm sure you don't need to see me stick all of them there you go look at that very very pretty again all the colors coordinating beautifully favorite precious moments absolutely and for finishing touches another of my favorites the essentials jewels these are just the most beautiful pop of bling for any finishing touch on any project whether it be your pocket pages your beautiful cards or of course your scrapbook layouts these are just stunning have a look at that simple beautiful really elegant creating with the gorgeous new ink pads i hope i've inspired you today please be sure to join us on the blog hop because I'd love for you to win these gorgeous inks. Questions or comments, pop them down below. Thanks for liking, subscribing and all that jazz and have a wonderful, happy arty days. Bye.